keep all the fun stuff. This is a typical day for a few Ice Dog players in their home away from home. Jacob Hetz and Kevin Aldridge play video games while Ethan Somoza tackles Algebra 1. But this normalcy wouldn't be possible without Ruby and Steven Kibbe. They are a billet family. They've been housing hockey players for over a decade. I told Steven we do it because I don't know how to cook for two people. <laughs> Because when the, when our kids, you know, were have been grown and gone, just decided really didn't want to be an empty nester. And the first year we did it was two thousand fall of two thousand one. Miss Kibby comes from a big family and likes to cook and cook big. The players definitely benefit. They have a few favorites. I like the chicken pot pie the most. That's my favorite. My favorite meal is the homemade mac and cheese. I'm going to go with the uh, homemade mac and cheese. But aside from the good food, the players are appreciative of the smooth transition that the Billet families provide since some are living away from home for the first time. It was going to be hard because I've never been on my own like something like this before. But then, they, I mean, they make it like you're just at home, just like my parents. So it, it's not, it wasn't really a huge change for me. The Kibbe household, it's a great household. The, the parents are amazing. They give us dinner every night around 6 o'clock. And, I mean, they treat us great. And we have this whole downstairs area to ourselves. So... I mean, we can interact with them when, when we want, and when we need our space, we can be down here, so it's good. They welcome you with open arms, um, a complete stranger into your home. I mean, that's a pretty big thing, and um, um, they've been great. They've, uh, you know, anything we need, they, they get it for us, so, you know, it's been a pretty easy transition. For this to work, the Ice Dogs need 30 bids to house a team during camps in June and 24 bids once the roster is finalized. The players are matched with the Billet family a week before they arrive through recommendations from the coaches. The players' parents and Billets communicate once a match is made. There are 12 active Billet families and most have been doing it for over five years. The majority take in two to three players at a time. Billets get a stipend for each player to help with groceries and other expenses. The Billets offer different things. The Kibbies don't have an extra car, but they have a lower level for the players. The Kibbies may not be Billets for too much longer. This this is a special kind of volunteer work. Billets get free tickets to games, but it's the sharing and bonding experience into an extended family all the way from the Fairbanks Ice Dogs organization to the players' family that makes it worth their while. Kids come back in town over the years, you know, coming back to their billet families because their relationships are, you know, they're they're imprinted for life from their relationships, you know, and uh, so kids coming back here fishing and, and enjoying it as they get older, etc. It helps us uh, keep our minds occupied during the cold winter months and the uh, we have some place to go, and, uh, and we like hockey. There's a lot of other sports, of course, around, but uh, hockey's one of our favorites. We just like the game, and, and we've enjoyed all the kids, all of our winter sons that we've had over the years. So it's just been good for us.